everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today I am super excited to go ahead and share with you my collection from Britta's Creepy Treasures. So a few of my close friends and I were talking specifically about how we are just overwhelmed right now with our wax collection and although we did a decent job at cutting back on buying throughout the month of July, we really just feel like there are still areas where we certainly can improve and Summer came up with the idea of maybe focusing on a single vendor for about a month's time and seeing how much we're able to get through in order to just focus on specific sections of our collection instead of just focusing on everything because let's be real that could be very overwhelming when you have a larger collection. So we decided to focus on Britta's. Britta's Creepy Treasures. We all really enjoy her wax. She has such good customer service. She is just such a sweetheart. Aside from her wax performing well, her blends are great. Her aesthetic is just so unique. And what better time of year to focus on Britta's Creepy Treasures than kind of the transition period from summer to fall. So throughout the month of August, we are going to focus on our Brita's collection and just see what we could get through in order to kind of dwindle down our collection, but also it helps us focus on what we truly enjoy from Brita's, like maybe what are our favorite blends or favorite oils that she has or things like that. Specifically when you're focusing on your collection, when you have vendors that maybe you have just a substantial amount of wax from and you try and just focus on that vendor, it could be really overwhelming and it's hard to actually feel like you're making a dent in them. So we figured we would pick a vendor that we have a modest collection from and we all agreed that we're kind of in the middle of the road when it comes to Brita's. So being able to focus on her wax for a month and seeing the progress that we make really will be a nice kind of eye opener to see that when you focus on one vendor that's not too out of control, you could really make some nice progress. So we figured we would start with Brita's and obviously this is open to everybody if you have a decent sized Brita's collection and you want to focus on her for the month of August go ahead and join in with us we obviously this isn't like a tag video or anything like that we just wanted to share what we kind of were thinking of and open up the opportunity for everybody to kind of show what they have if they want to join us I know also Steph from Steph Loves Life or also known as Steph Melt here on YouTube is also planning on joining in so I'm super excited so please, if you would love to join in, we would love to see your progress as well. This is open to everybody. So we are going to jump in. I do have a handful of shapes from a past advent calendar that I had bought from her. And then I have a couple of samples. But I'm proud to say the loaves or whatever other sizes I've had from Brita's I have worked through. So I have a pretty manageable collection here. And... Mainly it's souffles. I think I have like 20-ish souffles here and a handful of shapes. So I'm honestly excited because I think this collection is manageable enough to where in a month's time I could really make great progress. That being said, I'm not going to specifically focus just on Vin uh, Brita's for the month of August. I don't think any of us are, but I think that's kind of going to be our main focus. And then of course, if we're craving something else, kind of incorporate that in as well. I am not going to put my Brita's empties in my regular vendor empties what I'm going to do is put my empties aside for Brita's and then at the end of August kind of do you know like an kind of like an update and see how far I got what I used up and what I thought of those blends and just the aesthetic of Brita's I think is so perfect for this time of year I'm so excited I have a decent variety of scents from her so I'm really looking forward to just diving in and seeing what my true favorites are so I will leave Summer, Alexis, and Steph's channels linked down below. I'm sure you're all familiar with them, but in case you're not, definitely run over and show them some love. They are just such good friends of mine, and I adore them all. So we are going to start with the shapes. I'm not going to open every single bag and sniff them because we will be here for a really long time. I'm just going to kind of give an overview of the blend and go keep continuing on. So the first one I have here is an adorable little wolf shape in The Thing. This is Icy Peppermint Fire Roasted Marshmallow and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. So this is a really nice, just any time of year scent, a really nice peppermint toasted marshmallow kind of scent. And this is definitely a manageable shape. I think I could cut this in half and get through that. 
This is He Knows When You've Been Naughty. This is Nog Champa, Wildberry Cheesecake, and Mrs. Claus's Cookies. And this is in one of her adorable ghost shapes. I actually think my friend Tara from Tara's Fragrance World sent this to me. So thank you so much, Tara. I love her ghost shapes. They are so cute. And the double layer. I could smell this from here. The delicious wildberry cheesecake. So I'm really looking forward to melting this one. I think this will be a delicious bakery option. So that's He Knows When You've Been Naughty. Leather face. This is leather, tobacco, and bay, and patchouli. This is a cute little coin. It says, I put a smell on uh, smell. I put a spell on you. <laughs> oh god, this is what happens when I try and talk too fast. But this is a really nice, just earthy patchouli with tobacco fragrance. If you are somebody who is afraid of patchouli, but you kind of are intrigued by patchouli and want to dip your toe into it. I would say Britta's is a great way to kind of introduce yourself to patchouli because hers is super creamy and she does a great job at blending patchouli with very complimentary scents that kind of help tone it down, but you could still get the gist of if you like it. So definitely look for her patchouli. She does a lot of patchouli and bakery, patchouli and toasted marshmallow blends like that. So if you want to kind of dip your toe into patchouli, I think Britta's has a great option. Her oil is very creamy and very very tasteful in my opinion final destination this is cherry pie sugar cookie dough and danish butter cookies this is in a nice little tombstone shape i'm sorry you guys these are so beat up so i'm really looking forward to using this wax that's been sitting silver shamrock this is candy corn cornbread hot apple pie in the adorable two little jack-o-lantern shapes and since my collection is not too out of control, I'm just going to put these all in a basket and see what I could work through. Mr. Kruger, this is black amber and lavender, jelly donut, and toasted marshmallow. Again, in the adorable little jack-o'-lanterns. This one's just like a nice bakery option with lavender, so I think this will be nice for any time of day. The Fog, this is autumn day and beach nights. This one I've had before. This is such a beautiful kind of atmospheric fall air type fragrance. And then you get the nice salty sea air and the marshmallow from the beach nights. I just had to stop myself from tearing open this bag and smelling it. But that one is phenomenal. The Craft. This is Palo Santo, Dragon's Blood, and Mrs. Claus Mr. Claus's Cookies. Okay. I don't even think I know what Dragon's Blood is. So this is a good way for me to see what kind of oils I like too. Palo Santo and Bakery you can't go wrong with, and then we'll have to see what Dragon's Blood is. All right, one more shape I have here. This is Caribbean Escape. This was actually a really generous sample that she had sent me in my last order. This is just a really nice tropical fruity type fragrance. I believe this is the Bath and Body Works' dupe of Caribbean Escape, so this time of year is perfect to melt something like this. So I may even pop this in the warmers today. And we will go ahead and just start pulling some souffles here. First one I have here is a repurchase. And I know it's loved by so many. This is a cult favorite, I believe. This is The Exorcist. This is Palo Santo Patchouli and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. So again, her patchouli is just so creamy and just so tastefully done. And then you have her sweet and smoky Palo and just the toasted Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Like this is such a nice way to try patchouli without it being in your face and too overwhelming so if definitely give the exorcist a try this is a cult favorite for a reason it's been a repurchase for me time and time again i really like this one wicker man this is beach nights pretzel and fire roasted marshmallow one of my absolute favorites from my last pre-order that i got her pretzel is just such a dense yeasty pretzel it is so delicious and it's like you could smell the salt that's sprinkled on top it's just her pretzel like dominates the blends that it's in because it is so thick, yeasty, doughy. It's delicious. Like if you are somebody who is a bakery lover and you love bready scents and you like pretzel, definitely give Wicker Man a try. And then the marshmallow from the Beach Nights in here, like this is so beautifully done. I cannot wait to dig into this. This is the Midnight Society. This is Christmas Wreath, Pink Sugar, Blue Sugar, and Toasted Marshmallow. So this one I might save for like late, late August if we start to get some like crisp kind of teasingly fall weather. I'll pop this in. This is just a nice, it kind of comes off like a fur needle a little bit, but then you get the creaminess of the pink and blue sugar and marshmallow. So 
I think this would be nice on like a cooler summer evening or like a night that feels like it's starting to feel like fall. This will be a nice one to do. Mona. This is lavender, cashmere cream, and sweet and creamy. I don't believe I've tried much of her lavender, to be honest with you. So I'm looking forward to trying this. And this is just an easy one to pop in at nighttime. So this one I'll have no issue getting through. <clears throat> Mornings at Crystal Lake. This is coffee addiction, barnwood, and fire roasted marshmallow. I have heard so many good things about this blend. I've had several coffee buns from Britta's that I really enjoyed. I think she has great coffee oils. To be honest with you guys, I don't think there's a coffee from a vendor that I've tried that I haven't liked. But her specifically, she blends her coffee with such unique things. And this is just a nice example of that, like coffee with barn wood and then toasted marshmallow. So I'm super excited to try this one. I've heard fabulous things about it. Next one is We All Float. This is sugar cookie, white cake, and vanilla bean marshmallow. I think this is another one that my friend Tara from Tara's Fragrance World sent me. So thank you so much, Tara. This just sounds like a beautiful vanilla sugar cookie bakery. So this is super easy to melt on its own or blend with something else. I can even do this on the same day that I do that coffee blend, maybe in alternating warmers if I want to. So this one will just be a nice bakery or I could blend it with something else too. Lost Woods Resort. This is Cracklin Birch by the Campfire in Palo Santo. This is a super woodsy, forward, slightly smoky tree fragrance. It does come off a little bit sharp, honestly, but I don't mind sharp tree. I like really like in your face, woodsy, outdoorsy fragrances. But if I warm this and feel like it's a little too much, honestly, I could probably pop We All Float in a warmer surrounding the warmers that this has it in. And then I think it will nicely tone it down too but just knowing my preferences I don't think this is going to be too much for me I think I'll really enjoy this one I love that you could smell the dirt in this one it is super atmospheric and I think it'll set a really nice tone for the upcoming fall season so that's Lost Woods Resort Spencer this is library pink sugar and marshmallow bomb looking forward to melting this I don't believe I've tried her library oil so this will be a nice introduction to that Sleeping Demon. This is Palo Santo Patchouli Vanilla Bean Marshmallow and Black Amber Lavender. Again, just a really nice kind of earthy nighttime fragrance. And then you have the lavender and the marshmallow in there. So I, I'm happy, you guys. I feel like I have a nice variety between bakery, earthy, and kind of, you know, like nighttime blends. The Betrayal. This is Caramel Kettle Corn Strawberry Pound Cake and Cotton Candy Frosting. I love kettle corn fragrances, and this is going to be the perfect way to bring the fall season in. This one's pretty beat up. This is Hannah Crana. This is Palo Santo Pink Sugar and Roasted Pine Cones. I mean, say less. That just sounds like a beautiful blend for any time of year. Casey Got Gutted. This is Ozark Forest Roasted Pine Cones and Palo Santo. Again, like the Lost Woods Resort, it's just another very nice outdoorsy forest type scent. And then her Palo Santo is just nice and creamy and it adds a little bit of a woodsy flair. Yeah, this is pretty. Super excited for like these strong outdoorsy woodsy scents. I cannot wait to get back into those types of fragrances. Signed A. This is pretzel, cornbread, and Thai sticky rice. This is going to be my first time melting a blend with Thai sticky rice, so I'm really excited to see how I feel about this on warm. And then again, I mentioned how excellent her pretzel is, and then cornbread too. This is just going to be fabulous. This is going to be one, though, that I feel like it'll make your air feel like very thick and dense, so I might wait. I don't know if I'll get to this within August because it's still very hot and humid here. I might have to wait until like September, October to melt something like this. But if we have like a crisp, cooler day or like a rainy day, this would be like a really nice cozy bakery option. Fabulous. Love this one. Emily, Beach Nights, Boom Boom, and Strawberry Pound Cake. Say less. This is just a stellar blend. No matter what blend, what, no matter what vendor you get this from, this blend is just phenomenal. I love Boom Boom and Strawberry Pound Cake together. This is going to be an easy one for me to get through. The Jackal. This is Tobacco and Bay, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Bourbon Sauce. I recall not remembering how I feel about, like, not being sure about how I feel about this one. 
and I think it's the bourbon sauce but honestly the longer this one is sat I'm getting more of the tobacco in bay but again this is kind of like signed a I feel like this is going to be one that feels like very like dense and thick in the air because of the the bourbon sauce here so this might be one that I hold on to until you know maybe late September or October but if I could get through it if we have a nice cooler day here I feel in the mood to melt this I'll definitely give it a try Baba Shook this is another cult favorite this is fabulous this is Pachali Pachali patchouli sugar cookie royale sweet and creamy and vanilla bean marshmallow again just a really nice dense vanilla bakery with some patchouli mixed in there fabulous toby this is roasted pine cones crackling birch and blue sugar her combination in here of the crackling birch and blue sugar i am a hardcore lover of blue sugar and then you throw like a nice smoky woodsy scent in there and pine cones say less this is going to be beautiful the night she disappeared this is sugared amber and plum barnwood and pink sugar this is a nice kind of perfumey feminine perfumey fragrance this will be nice for the nighttime and you get a little bit of dried wood fragrance from the barnwood so i think this will be pretty in the bedroom warm bodies pink sugar blue sugar sugar cookie royale and vanilla bean marshmallow Again, another one that's kind of like Emily. I feel like this is another nice one that you could kind of melt any time of year, any time of day. So this would be a nice one when I don't want anything super woodsy or earthy. This is just kind of a nice middle of the road type of fragrance here. Two Can't Keep a Secret. This is Strawberry Pound Cake, Sugar Cookie Royale, Sweet and Creamy, and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. The obsession continues on with my Strawberry Pound Cake. This is going to be absolutely delicious. Oh my god you guys that is everything i thought i had another stack of souffles here and then i went to go reach for them and realized i already talked about those so that is my whole Brita's collection i am super pumped to see what i could get through and what my thoughts on these fragrances will be once i warm them especially obviously for the ones that i haven't gotten to try yet so stay tuned toward the end of august i'm definitely gonna do a kind of recap and see what it is that i got through and go through my empties and see what i thought of those fragrances please feel free to join this. This is obviously not a tag video. We just kind of want to get the motivation out there to get other people to maybe focus on a specific vendor in their collection that they want to really get to melting and form thoughts on and just kind of dwindle down certain areas of your collection to make it more manageable. So I, again, I really enjoy Brita's. It's not a vendor that I buy from overboard, which thankfully um because I do really appreciate her wax but sometimes it could just get so overwhelming when you have a vendor with way too much stuff and you don't even know where to begin so this is going to be a nice way to kind of get the ball rolling and focus on certain areas of the collection and really see some progress so I will keep you posted in several weeks again I will link Summer, Alexis, and Stephanie down below because they are three that I know for sure are doing this kind of I guess you could say a project use it up operation use it up sort of situation so comment down below what your favorite blends from Brita's are I'm sure I'll be chatting in the comments I hope you're doing well and stay tuned for our update take care bye